has value to that company. So the gain, depending on the interest of the government, depending on the interest of the person doing exploration that is going to do the production, they might decide to do, go ahead, develop and produce, or they might decide to wait. There might even be a conflict where the government wants production to take place and the company doing the exploration is not keen on producing. So again, when that is happening, you want to find out if government is saying that, okay, we're not going to, although we found oil in commercial quantity, we want to start producing in X number of years, you want to find out what are the reasons. Is it just because government thinks it is prudent to do so, or is it because some oil companies are not allowing government to do the production now? You want to also find out. And again, I'm giving you reasons that there are companies who want to start producing and make money for themselves. The others who just want to accumulate reserves and they're okay and produce as a point, it suits them as a company. All, the, all these are all issues that happen in real life. So you want to find out as a journalist what are the reasons. Not what they are telling you are the reasons, but you want to go beyond that to find out what are the real reasons why they are not producing. Yes, yeah, so basically who are the actors within the oil sector? You said it's dependent on the government or the company that is doing the exploration. Yeah. Is it yeah. Those are the two. No, ideally. And it's when it is so when you understand, as journalists, you understand these issues and you bring them out, then the citizens are informed, civil society will lead the way and you start raising issues. What is happening? Why are we producing or why are we rushing to produce? Because it could work the other way around. That the company, because maybe wants that wants to exploit and produce that resource for its own benefit, they can put rush government when you don't have any um, policy in place, you don't have any law that will regulate the industry, but then they push you to go and produce. It could be the government itself that wants money quickly because maybe there's an election coming up in three years, so you need that money so they can win the election. So although you don't have the laws in place, you don't have the proper regulation, they are rushing the process. So when you understand all this, what happens at the exploration stage to the stage of development, then you can start asking questions, okay, why are we producing, or why are we rushing to produce, or why are we delaying? Then you can bring the issues up. So whatever this is, government represents the people. So what government, is, government stand is, should be that of the people of Liberia.